Hey guys! Hello, how do you do on this fine Monday? Now, apologies, I've been a bit AWOL recently, just had a busy weekend, not around, so sorry about that, but I'm back. <laughs> And I'm here to give you a daily dose of Big H, the Big D, no, the Big H, Big H, I prefer that. Anyway, one thing that really caught my eye, quite significantly actually, uh, you might have seen it, uh, a lot of people are reporting it, it's all over the news. A man, this gentleman here, Andrew Malkinson, now if you don't know who this guy is, <gasps> never fear. Andrew Malkinson, he was a man from Grimsby, now Godspeed people who live in Grimsby, but it's an absolute shithole. Now, have I been? No, but the Tyson Furies from there. And I've seen a film about it, and it's a shit all bro. Brother Grimsby! But yeah, so basically, he was a gentleman. He got a temporary job as a security guard, blah, 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 blah. Now, unfortunately, this is not a great bit of news. What happened to the female? It's a bit of a touchy subject, I'm sure, but a lady was raped, she was beaten, uh, she had a swollen eye, fractured cheekbone, strangled and unconscious, severe injury to her left nipple, which is a bit, I mean, a bit odd, but fair dues, might. After she was unconscious, she was raped. No, horrible stuff, nasty, nasty, nasty. However, this gentleman called Andrew Malkinson uh, was identified by the victim at an identity parade. I can only imagine she's feeling a bit shit now, having all this new evidence come out and actually proving the man is innocent. So she even described him as different, you know, with hairless chest, ta no tattoos. He had chest, hair and prominent tattoos. It said the attacker would have a deep scratch to his face, which she didn't, but there was no DNA evidence to link him to the crime at the time. And basically, he got accused. If you like me, fuck the police. Fuck the police. Yeah, man, I'm a thug. I'm a white-ass thug. No, but this man was basically used as a scapegoat. They couldn't find him. No idea what happened to the bloke uh, who actually did it. So they, uh, my guess is they they uh, blamed this guy. However, due to modern day amazements, modern day DNA linking testing, another suspect emerged. Let's, ju let's just check this video out quickly, if it would like to load. When a jury finds you guilty when you are innocent, reality does not change. You know you did not commit the crime. But all the people around you start living in a false fantasy universe. Poor guy's shaking like a leaf in the wind, man. It's good to see that he's uh, promoting belief about innocent people put behind bars because the police are idiots and incompetent at life. Now, in this country, there's been loads of problems with police. In America, there's loads of problems with police. It's not just a thing here. It's, it's global. I think policing clearly is for power-hungry people who love telling people what to do and, you know, arresting drunk people because they gave them the middle finger. Like, get a life, mate. You should be out there solving murders and rapes and crime and actually doing something important. The Police, prison officers, probation, prisoners, journalists, judges. As a minority of one, you are forced to live their false fantasy. On the 2nd of August 2003, I was kidnapped by the state. Powerful saying, I was kidnapped by the state, I love that. He was falsely imprisoned and falsely accused by police who couldn't do their own work and couldn't work out who it was. Obviously, it's not the woman's fault. She she was obviously under a great deal of stress, I'm sure, and she was, you know, knocked unconscious, which I'm sure didn't help her in identifying. I'm trying to, you know, work out. It was probably pitch black. She was beating bloody. How, how do you point the finger at that guy and go, you did it, it was definitely, you know, I, I think it's unrealistic for her to do that, and she probably felt pressured to uh, say something. But not only she would have felt pressured, the police, they were like, oh, you think it's her? Yeah, it's definitely him then. It's him. You think it's him? It's definitely him. No, no, it's that guy. No, we don't need any evidence. No, 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 no. Don't matter that. You said he didn't have tattoos and this guy has tattoos and this guy has a hairy chest and this guy does not have a hairy... It doesn't matter. This guy's it. Goddamn idiots running the country. It has taken nearly 20 years to persuade my kidnappers to let me go. 17 years, 4 months and 16 days of that time were spent in prison. At every parole hearing, I sat before a panel who shook their heads at me considering me to be dangerous and all that time the real perpetrator the real dangerous person was free more recently i was allowed to leave prison but with my name on the sex offenders register and under tight supervision by police and probation i was not 
free. Even when he was free, he wasn't actually free. He was on the sex registers list and all this. And, and it's absolutely disgraceful what's happened to this man. He uh, falsely imprisoned. I mean, just imagine yourself there. Falsely imprisoned. Forced to live in prison for 17 years. Imagine how horrible it would be then being assumed you're a rapist. People get killed in prison for being rapists. You know, there's loads of bad shit. And I mean, yeah, you've seen Prison Break, but like actual real prison, it's horrible. And I, I just hope he's given millions and millions of pounds. And I know that's not going to help people say, oh, money won't help him. He, he needs his time back. You can't. There's no there's no TARDIS. There is no time machine. There is no flux capacitor to go back in time and get in the 666 miles per hour or whatever it is. That's just not going to happen. So this guy needs to be compensated and he needs to shake the king's hand. Not that he'd probably want to because the fingers look like... I, I seriously hope this guy uh, is either going to sue them or do something that will save his life or at least get it back on track. He was born in 1966, which is 34. So he's well over, you know, he's... Oh, fuck's sake, 34. I've started at 23... 58, I think. Now, you can't tell how long that took me because this is a, uh, there's things called editing software. However, that took me far longer than I would like to admit. Greater Manchester Police apologise. Oh, it's alright, lads. It's alright. They said sorry. Don't worry, Andrew. Don't worry. You've only spent 17 years of your life in prison for being judged and accused of being a rapist when you aren't one. Oh, but don't worry. They, they said sorry. Fuck off, mate. Greater Manchester Police. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. It's disgraceful. It's disgusting. And I'm sick of hearing stuff like that. So he, he, he tried as well to appeal it. So they actually kept evidence hidden from the jury. So they hid the information from the jury. That's disgusting. Tr trying to fit their narrative and make this their story, aren't they? This is what happened. No, it's not. Well, it is. We're, we're getting arrest the guy. I mean, surely you can do something. What What is next for this man? Well, I hope he, like I said, he gets money. I know he's not going to help anything, whatever, but then he can go on a nice holiday, live life like he wants. And the worst part is, he, you know, he, he, he knew he was innocent, obviously, but then no one listened to him and then when you've come out you're still a pe like a rapist you're on the sex offenders list you're not allowed near schools you're not allowed near you know you might have been banned from certain areas I, I don't know I'm not actually on the register believe it or not I who knows I mean I don't really want to ask him see so, yeah the evidence needed to overturn my conviction was sitting in police files for two decades fucking while they were sat at the table with their thumbs firmly planted up their bum and eating donuts with the other hand all they had to do was open the bottom drawer and say oh yeah look he's, he's actually innocent dickhead and he's living on benefits which on the doll you don't know what that means he's getting paid 57 i was close enough he's getting paid benefits you get like 200 quid a week if that you know you don't get enough to survive this man's you know 57 year 17 <laughs> 17 years in prison oh but it's all right big fucking rushy prick the maximum payment for more than 10 years is 1 million mate he needs a bit more than that jeez so yeah that's all i really wanted to speak about today this gentleman here, wrongly imprisoned by the UK government and state. Disgusting scenes. I hope he gets everything that he deserves. I hope he uses this to, like he's doing, promote his campaign or his charity or whatever it might be. I, I think it's a really good idea. But look, let me know what you guys thought. I just saw this article and, you know, thought it would be an interesting read. You guys let me know if you enjoyed it. What do you think of the case? I will see you and speak to you down below in the comment section if you enjoy it look, i'm not i'm not going to sugarcoat it leaving a like really helps it out it pushes it into more people's viewing so they can um so that well so they can view the the videos and get as much enjoyment like you did i'm sure i'll leave it there see you later guys goodbye good night godspeed bitch